Sure. Okay, the last question I have for you is what is your advice if you can give to someone who wants to visit the Kazakhstan for the first time? Uh, my advice to anyone that wishes to, to, to visit here is to um, learn first about the culture. Um, learn as much as you can. And, you know, people might say, oh, that's obvious. But to a lot of people, it's not. They think, oh, I'm traveling to this country. I'm a tourist. They'll know I'm a tourist. Whatever I do that's disrespectful will be forgiven because it's assumed that I don't know. Um, and that's a very big misconception because that can make the difference between a wonderful holiday, as they say in, in the UK and also in India, um, that can make for a wonderful vacation or it can make for a very terrible one, you know. And all you have to do is just adjust, you know, your approach. So learn as much as you can about the culture. And what I say by l learning about the culture is to respect, first of all, uh, um, others' religions, point of views. Um, don't come here and try to impose your ideas and the way that you see the world onto to, to anyone here. Because you are in their home, you are a guest, and you should act accordingly. So my advice, and the number one advice, is to learn about the culture as much as you can. And learn the basics, you know, of the language. Um, how to say thank you, because that goes a long way. And not only how saying to say rahmet, thank you. Saying Rahmat in Kazakh is the best way to have a conversation. It will, it will get you so far. Yeah, it will get you so far. You know, and so what you find is people don't understand how little words can get you big things. You know, like um, I'll give you a great, uh, a great story. Uh, my first, very first time here in Kazakhstan. Uh, it was my fourth day here. Um, and I just, I went out and, you know, it's late. And I'm like, okay, I've seen all my friends do it. I'm going to try, you know, try to get a taxi, you know. Taxi, and then you know, when they stop, and then I'll be like, you know, Skorka, and then they tell me some number, and I'm like, that does not sound like the number. Yeah, yeah, right. And so, but this guy stopped for me, this Russian fellow, um, and he's like, hey, you need a ride? I'm like, yeah. And then he's like, all right, um, hop in. Well, how far do you live? He spoke fair enough English to to have a conversation, and um, I told him at the time I lived around this uh, Gagarina. I don't know if you're familiar okay, with the Gagarina street. street Papaya, Gagarina. Papaya, Gagarina. <laughs> Boom, yes. So I lived on that street and then I just told them, like, I know it's Gagarina. I can follow on my GPS how close we are to, to my building because I pinned it on my map. Uh, but that's about as much as I can give you. And he's like, all right, have one. And we start driving. So this Russian guy is like, yo, I love music. You love music? And he started introducing me to some music and we're having this great conversation. And then, you know, when I got to my destination, and I'm like, okay, so how much do I owe you, man? And he's like, no, you paid me in an awesome conversation. I'm like, yo, okay. yo, thank you so much. I appreciate that. And I'm like, I want to pay you, though. He's like, you already did. You gave me a conversation that I needed, you know? And it's so funny because sometimes, man, all somebody needs is just a good conversation to distract them from what they might be going through. And I don't know what he might have been going through, but by just... Having this dialogue with me, he was able to just kind of say, yo, this was my payment. This is better than money. And I, and, and I was very grateful. And, and uh, um, I wish there was a way that I could show my gratitude to him. But all he would take was just a simple thank you. you know? And it's stories like this, man, that makes this place beautiful. Man. <laughs>